So we will s- Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Rachel, the moment it's here to hear the most inspirational moment in all of it to hear back once again. At time of recording, I'm recording this on Tuesday, up for today here on Saturday. It is Tom and Jerry Sims once again, and in this episode, love is in the air for Thomas. Springtime for Thomas to be exact. It may be springtime for him, but it's summertime over here for us. And the rules do not change as far as the sinning is concerned. So, usual rules apply. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Maybe I should have saved this one for, maybe I should have done this one for Valentine's Day. Ah, hey ho. Anyway, on to the sins. <laughs> Wrong music. Since when did Jerry decide to start living inside a mailbox? Oh no, he's going to be tampering with the mail, isn't he? It's a federal offence to tamper with one's mail that isn't in your name! Jerry, you are not Tarzan. Now, how does one manage to get a mouse hole that is inside a mailbox into the regular mouse hole that you see inside the house? How does one do that? Tom should be feeling this! Number one, how long is that thing? And number two, Jerry think to himself, why is he not chasing me? Okay, the first time, okay, but the second time, come on, you should be feeling that. Tom, has he all of a sudden lost his sense of feeling or like sense of touch, like, being able to feel things like this? Has he all of a sudden lost that? Okay, the two kicks up the rear end, the pulling of the fur, those don't work, but Jerry actually ripping the fur off, that gets his attention! basically just used the same sound effect. Now I don't know what that's supposed to be a pun of, but mm, I think I'll just count it as a sin agreement at that. Could you be any more love struck, Tom? No! You should be eating him! Discount your little lady! That's how it should be done, Tom. Hmm. Okay, miss. Okay, Mrs. Cat. Uh, no need to get sassy with us. You are not Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm. Not sure what category of unrealistic I would put that under, but that is unrealistic. Blowing a kiss. The kiss is invincible! Since when did that love heart become a bell? Fake gunshot on point of impact cliche! Also, number one, Cupid should be having a bow and arrow, not a hammer! Or mallet in this case, I can't tell the difference between the two! And number two, when did Tom decide to become a slot machine? Mind you, this gives a literal meaning to being love struck. <laughs> Jerry's reaction is pretty much me every week with these. Hey, are you gonna stand there and let a pain come between you and him? Testify, my brother! This guy knows what he's on about. And let a beautiful friendship go. Despite the troubles they get in themselves into every week. Every week in this case. But my point stands. Despite everything they put each other through, the combination 
You can't have one without the other. This guy has a point! She's got a meat out of her hand. <laughs> All of a sudden, Tom is now a dog. For some reason! And cats are not very good at gymnastics. Yes, there's this myth they always land on their feet. But... Mm, doing handstands like that? No, they are animals, not gymnasts. I'm just gonna let this guy say the next sin. Thank you very much. You, my friend, would be excellent at Tom and Jerry sin. The best way to break up a romance like that is to introduce a couple of Indistinguishable whispering, discussing a plan cliche. <laughs> Have you got enough perfume on that thing? Discount over the rainbow. Yes, I just sinned the song over the rainbow. You got a problem with that? <laughs> That's not how a regular whistle sounds. A regular whistle is the or something along those lines. I can't whistle, guys. If he was to do a whistle like that, he would actually need an actual whistle, like a referee whistle. A dame. What makes you think it's a dame when it was Jerry that wrote the letter and sprayed it with perfume? Dear Green Boy, I have always admired your busy Joe. Butch is illiterate. Who'd have thought I'd be singing that? Wow. Regarding his physique. That's how it's, that's how it's pronounced, Butch. It's pronounced physique. Um, Your hair's all scruffy. You haven't trimmed your claws. You haven't cleaned your teeth. So, yeah. Seriously? He's using fish bones to comb his hair. Why not have a real comb, like so? He combs his hair, and it's literally the same as it was! Have you sprayed enough of that stuff on you? Also, might as well uh, take that back off, because that thing I said about him not trimming his claws, he just did it just there. So, yeah, net zero. Moving on! Cocktails! Cocktails! This is a kid's cartoon! Not Family Guy or South Park! How close was he to that place anyway? Okay, Tom, one kiss on the hand's enough. Oh, no! Oh, dear. What a doll. What a doll. And she instantly prefers him. A cat who lives in an alleyway, smells terrible, doesn't look after himself, with a cigar! Compared to Tom! Pardon me, Derry. Uh, wouldn't he be... Out for the count? How did Butch become that strong? I don't recall guitars having three strings. They normally have either four if it's a ukulele or a bass guitar, or six if it's a regular acoustic guitar. Okay, I'll take a sin off of that. That's pretty impressive on his... I'm guessing Spanish? I don't know. How can Butch not feel this? Butch, all you have to do is open your eyes! Mm, poor form. Didn't even do a proper dive. Gonna give that a 0, 0.0. Recycled animation. Yes, it's a different character, but it's still recycled animation. 
his glass wouldn't be doing that. He went through eight of those croquet things, yet only five are on here. Say something else, Butch? I'm expecting Cupid's arrow. Any, any. Oh, painful irony. And shock and surprise, it's Tom that gets blamed. Was that another fake gunshot making it for today? Son of a fake gunshot it is! Uh, no, Butch, your face wouldn't be flat, you would end up with a broken nose and a trip to the vet. The diving board wasn't that high. Big ripple, big splashback. 7.5. Tom, that water has chlorine in it, you should be dead! Big explosion on point of impact cliche. They used... Two different sound effects. Choose one, preferably the realistic one, and stick to it! When did everything have a gunshot or explosion packed to it? I don't recall swings going that high. Oh wait, he's using a guitar. And he gives up, just like that. Okay, I'll take a sin off for that. Okay, let's get, okay, let's get this thing. If, if this turns out to be Jerry being in the exact same position Tom was in at the start of the episode, I swear I'm gonna have to double the same count. Oh, come on! And more recycled animation. Ah! Took you long enough to make you visit Mr. Unrealistic Physics? Go away, Tom. I'm not interested. I just want to have my happy ending. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. Didn't look like we got as many sins this time around. But nevertheless... Hey ho, these things happen. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed what you saw folks. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter-day Heroes Notification Squad. So you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Uh, I have my top 10 games of the year so far on the left. Tom and Jerry Sins playlist on the right. It's time for the blooper reel, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you guys shortly for the next episode. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out and stay faithful as always. Was that another fake gun? Why not have a real cone? Cone? All of a sudden, Jerry is now... Nope.